What's up, you guys? My name is Renee Rapp, and I am Spotify's Next Radar artist. I think that a good little, like, summary for me and, like, my story is somebody who's, like, very determined, super resilient, I think, very sarcastic, and is just, like, trying to be perceived in a way that is, like, natural, but also panics about everything. Um, and someone who cares more than literally anything in the whole wide world, but also does not give a fuck. So it's a lot of back and forth and just a lot of being nervous about being perceived. So I just chose a really great job for that. <laughs> My process of making the record was like fairly processless, I think. I mean, it really like started at the very beginning of this year. It started like maybe two days before my birthday, I think it's so, like January 8th or something. And I think like that album really started and became like a thing when I started working with Alexander because I had been working with a ton of people who are fucking sick and so incredibly talented. But like working with musicians and writers and producers as an artist, to me, and I'm sure to them as well, feels like dating. Like you don't fall in love with everybody you date. Unless you're me, and then you do. But you don't want to marry everybody you do. Mm. You get what I'm saying. I'd love to collaborate with everybody who I have a crush on. I'd love to collaborate with Frank Ocean. I would love to collaborate with Casey Musgraves. I would love to collaborate with Jasmine Sullivan. I would love to collaborate with Beyonce. I would love to collaborate with Karen Carpenter. She's dead. Love her. But I'm obsessed with the Carpenters. I would love to collaborate with people that I look up to. But also I want to collaborate with somebody like super cool and like <sighs> kind of niche and fun. People that I work with flew out to go and like try and like get like a chunk of the album done while I was in Jersey because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't like super behind on music even while I was working. And so Alexander, Justin, Skyler, and Cleo all flew out to New Jersey and we like camped out in this studio in like Asbury Park or something. And it was so much fun. Cause I remember like walking into the studio that day and feeling like, oh wow, like these people actually like traveled across the country to come and, and hang out and, and make music with me. And it made me feel like honestly really loved. The point of like your art is so that you feel good about it. But for whatever reason and for what it's worth, like. I really do care how other people feel. I love the community in music and the aspect of like having people that like actually understand how you feel. Cause I feel like a lot of times I am like overly explaining myself all the time, trying to get somebody to understand how I feel and I will still feel disconnected from that. But in songs, I don't, I don't feel that way. I feel like that's how I feel, take it or leave it. The inspiration behind Talk Too Much is I, had a dream that I killed my girlfriend. Just just murdered the bitch. And uh, I honestly was freaking out. So I was like, I don't really understand like what this means, but maybe this means we shouldn't be together. Or does it mean that I'm a terrible person? I definitely like say what comes to my mind. I don't think I am a very like filtered person. I just truly like want people to know how I feel about things. I'm so excited to perform Pretty Girls Live. I'm so excited. I feel like I've been very, very spoiled. I have like a, a, an amazing like community of like young like queer or <laughs> straight girls who have really good queer friends um, <laughs> uh, for like a fan base and for a community around me. And I think that like writing that song was so cathartic and like fun and also takes an experience where like I think that Obviously, like, you know, if you're a queer person, there's 10 different thousands of levels in, in how that would make you feel. I'm most proud of I Hate Boston. In the Kitchen was a song that I wrote on my EP that I love so much. And it was like my favorite ballad that I had ever written. I thought I was such a shit songwriter for so many years. I remember like getting a chorus to I Hate Boston and being like, thank God I can write another one. So I'm very proud of I Hate Boston. And I think lyrically, it's one of the like stronger songs on the project.